Hi, I'm going to show you how to use the math editor tool within Edulastic. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is click on this little square root of a small x here. If I put my mouse over it, it says math editor, and that's the tool that I want to use. Okay, so math editor. If I click on that, the math editor comes up, and this has a whole lot of options. Most of them you don't need. Okay, so what we're trying to type here is uh, I'm going to type 10, just the number 10. We use my keyboard. Oops, I typed 109, 10. Okay, and now I want to type times something. Okay, so I'm going to use this little time symbol here, multiplication sign. Don't use the X on your keyboard because it looks like this, and that looks a lot different. That's an X, okay? So don't use that. Use the multiplication sign to type a times, okay? Now I want to do a fraction. Okay, so my fraction, I need this fraction tool here. It's, it's a square over a square. Okay, so I, now you can see that it moved everything down and I have a square over a square. My cursor's in the top. And I'm going to type x squared, but I, don't, I can't type x squared. I can only type x. If I try to type x squared, it just goes x2, and that's not what I want. Okay, so I'm going to type um, x squared. In order to do that, I need this superscript tool. Do you see that? It looks like a little box with a box above it. So I'm going to put the x in the big box and then put my mouse in there. And now I can type the 2, x squared. Okay, now, in order to get out of the superscript box, I need to either use my mouse or use my um, my keyboard to just move an arrow over right 1. Okay, so now I have x squared. I'm going to use the minus sign. And you can use the minus sign on your keyboard. It's fine because the minus sign is the same either way. But I just use this one, minus. And I'm going to say x squared minus 4. Now I'm going to put this over a denominator, and I'm using my, key, my mouse here to click in that little box and I'm going to type 10 again. Okay. Now you can see that this 10 is going to cancel out from here to here. It's, it's not going to be there anymore. Okay. So I'm going to use, I wouldn't want to say equals now. So I'm going to use the equal sign on my keyboard because I don't have an equals up here. Okay. If I did, I would probably use it, but it's okay. You could just type the equal sign. Um, and now I need two um, parentheses. I need, well, let's just put one. We have X plus Two. Now I'm using the plus on my keyboard because it's the same as this plus here. It doesn't matter. Okay, now I need to get out of that parentheses, so I'm going to click past it or use my right arrow key. It doesn't matter. I need another parentheses. X minus, oops, X minus two. I accidentally pressed like shift X and I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so X minus two. So now this is a true statement. X plus two times X minus two will equal the x squared minus 4. The tens cancel out. So this is a true statement now. Okay, in order to save this, I want to just click save. But let me show you a couple of other features that are here. We have a plus or minus feature. We have a divided by if you need that. I would prefer you use the fraction tool. If you go into these other tabs, you can see all sorts of stuff. Here's a degree sign. Um, we have other things. There's a delta sign, which you might need for delta t or something like that. Okay. That means increment t. That means like how much did it change? There's a lot of other things in here that you probably will never use, but they're all there. Okay. So most of the time we're going to be using this fraction key, the superscript, the parentheses a lot, and then these plus, times, minus, those kinds of things. Okay. So in order to save this, I want to just click save and you can see that it appears in my, in my editor here. And that's all. Now I can just submit it. Okay, so that's all you need to do in order to use the math editor tool.